Hey there, Hollis families. Mrs. Pingham is back with you. Today I'm going to read a story to you to call Puppies for Sale. It is written by the author Dan Clark, who also wrote the stories Chicken Soup for the Soul, if you're familiar with those. So this book is really sweet. It's short, but it really shows how a little boy has empathy for a puppy that has a little bit of a disability. So sit back and enjoy. Puppies for sale. A store owner was tacking a sign in his store window which read, Puppies for sale, when a little boy appeared. How much are you selling the puppies for, he asked. The man told the lad he didn't expect to let any of them go for less than $50. While the boy reached into his pocket and pulled out some change, he looked up at the store owner and said, I have $2.37. Can I look at them? The store owner smiled and whistled, and from the kennel, a dog named Lady came running down the aisle, followed by five tiny balls of fur. One puppy lagged behind. Immediately, the little boy asked about the limping puppy. What's wrong with the doggy? The veterinarian told us the dog is missing his hip socket, said the store owner. He'll always limp like that. Well, that's the one I want to buy, the little boy said quickly. The store owner replied, no, you don't want to buy that dog. If you really want him, I'll just give him to you. The boy came close to the store owner's face and said angrily, I don't want you to just give him to me. That doggy is worth just as much as all of the other puppies and I'll pay the full price. In fact, I'll give you $2.37 now and 50 cents a month until I have him paid for. The store owner replied, no, 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 you don't want that dog. He's never going to be able to run and jump and play like the other dogs. In response, the little boy pulled up his pant leg to reveal a badly twisted right leg supported by two steel braces. Well, sir, he said, I don't run so well myself and the puppy will need someone who understands. That boy had something in common with that puppy and I think they were going to be great friends. So I emailed Dan Clark's company and again, he gave us permission to read his story online with a resounding yes and just was appreciative that I wanted to share the message of kindness that this story offers to you, my Hollis kiddos and families. I hope this finds you well and I hope to read you another story again soon. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.